The onslaught of 10 to 30 inches of rain has turned western North Carolina neighborhoods into lakes and debris fields. Dozens of people still missing this morning. For those of us not too adversely affected by the storm, the electronic overhead highway signs told the story. Consider all roads in western North Carolina closed. And that warning issued by the North Carolina Department of Transportation remains in effect for non-emergency purposes and unnecessary travel. Chief Transportation Correspondent May Kay Beeler joining us now with an update. <laughs> May Kay, I know we typically talk about air travel uh, when you're in here, yeah. but when you look at just the infrastructure of what's happened to our yeah. state, this is unbelievable. Overwhelming, heartbreaking. Yeah. Really no words. Okay, so yeah, due to the washouts, the numerous washouts, be advised if you're going to travel in Western North Carolina, in most places, you can't get there from here. If you need to drive somewhere in the western part of the state, brace yourself. The means to get there may no longer exist. Yeah, as we said, hundreds of roads have been shut down, including dozens of U.S. and North Carolina highways in the foothills and mountains. Parts of I-40 from Statesville to the Tennessee line are closed, impassable due to landslides and downed trees. Our top priority is everyone's safety and well-being. That, according to State Transportation Secretary Joey Hopkins, people should still consider roads in western North Carolina to be closed and avoid travel unless it is absolutely necessary because priority must be given to all the emergency responders, utility and transportation crews, and others who are working hard to help with what will be a lengthy response and recovery effort. And May Kay, right now, what is the worst challenges that responders are facing? So as you can imagine, the unbelievable scenes we're seeing these roads, they're just torn apart. So yeah, rescue efforts are ongoing and they are facing unprecedented challenges. Entire towns wiped out, concrete bridges washed away, no way in or out of certain areas, no electricity, no water, spotty or zero cell phone service. Bridges gone, collapsed into the river. A huge section of I-40 through the mountains at the border of Tennessee washed away into the Pigeon River, taking the interstate with it. Drones and aircraft, yes, they are evaluating the damage in areas inaccessible by road. So the NCDOT published on X, despite current weather conditions, Helene-related damage is still very much a factor in western North Carolina. You know, you said heartbreaking and it really is. And there's still a lot of concern for families that one, they're frustrated. They can't get in touch with their family members. Maybe they have vacation homes or businesses up there. If they're trying to get there or if they feel like they have to get there, what are you supposed to do? Hang tight. That's hard. <laughs> Hang, I know it's yeah. hard. Our, our prayers go out to them. Hang tight. Yeah, so it's gonna take time. Repairs and road openings, it's gonna take a long time. So according to the North Carolina Department of Transportation, North Carolina Department of Transportation crews are working right now, day and night, uh, to fix what they can to assess the widespread damage to roads. Now, they're going to pri prioritize efforts to reopen interstates, U.S. and state highways first before getting to state-maintained secondary roads. But the emergency response and recovery efforts may take months, as many roads and bridges, the damage is serious. Of course, we know hundreds of thousands of power outages and limited cell phone coverage are impacting those efforts. So Hopkins says, you know, we're doing everything we can to help North Carolina recover from this devastating uh, storm, but you know, it's gonna be a long-term effort. We need people to be patient and help us with the recovery effort by staying off the roads. We know, May Kay, that a lot of people want to get up there to their family and friends to make sure they're okay. So what's the best way for drivers to be able to keep up on road conditions? So if you've got access to the internet, drivenc.gov. Folks, it's fabulous. It's a great way to stay up to date. It's going to show you icons, what roads are closed, what roads are incidents. It's going to um, update you every few minutes. So check that out. Also, readync.gov and, of course, our website, qcnews.com. All right, May Kay, thank you very much. It is a lot. It's, it's a, a lot. lot to, it's a lot to take in, and we're trying to help and get as much information out as we can. Thank yes. you, May Kay. Keep thank us you, posted. Kay. Appreciate that.